and to make sure more families can have something to give their child. Hudson Dick Herber has more on the holiday donation. The need for toy donations is higher this year and Christmas is just around the corner. Nonprofits are encouraging businesses to have toy drop off zones or collect toys like we have right here in our front lobby. With Christmas just a little over a week away, one local store decided to donate over 3,000 toys to three organizations who give around Christmas time. Things are higher this year. Um, food. Food insecurities are higher. Um, we have more grandparents, grandmothers raising grandchildren on minimum incomes with limited resources. And so from that perspective, the need is there, is higher um, because the resources are not there. So we are trying to fill in the gap for that. The BIM store, as well as people in the community, are helping fill that gap. But the Christmas store says there are still 49 kids that still need their wishes granted. This is really going to help us um, reach the goals that we need to reach now. The donated toys are helping the Christmas store, Toys for Tots, and Walking Tall Ministries. We love being a part of the community, um, but we want to be in the community. And this is how we're doing it with things like this, contributing to our church, contributing to the ministries around the church, and to the needy in the community. And with their help, thousands of toys are now ready to be picked up this week. This particular Christmas there are a lot of people that are in need and the need has been greater recently as we've watched you know people struggling more, needing more and so it's just really warming to my heart to see people wanting to give back and to meet those needs. The Ben store wants to encourage other businesses to give or find a way to give back since the need is so high. In Augusta, Audrey Dick Herber on your side.